this is Mark with MHTAlerts.com bringing you the latest information on Hurricane Ernesto. We are on condition red for landfall in Belize and also condition red for uh, possible landfall in Mexico with uh, tropical storm force winds. And this is a hurricane right now, so it would be a hurricane force winds for Belize, including large amounts of rain, which we already know the storm has a potential of bringing a lot of rain. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to show you guys how to use the website uh, that I go to to actually bring up the spaghetti model so you can track it with me here on MHTAlerts.com. And just keep in mind when you go to the site, it will be updated every time the National Hurricane Center brings out an update. So you will have to download it each and every time. What you want to do is go to the main page of the site, which I'll post the link in the description of the video below, which I have done in the past few videos. And when you get there, you want to look at which one you want to actually do, which is Hurricane Ernesto, first of all. And you want to click on the Google Earth. Uh, part which does show Google Earth right here and uh, you want to click on open and it's going to take you to your page on Google Earth uh, your main page what you want to do is you want to go into view and sidebar make sure your sidebar is on so you can go ahead and activate the models from the National Hurricane Center you want to click on the models for the North Atlantic Basin and click again so you got to click twice once you click twice it'll load the information so let's go ahead and take a quick look at that real fast i'm going to go ahead and move that out of the way for us so once again this is category one hurricane ernesto breaking news information as of uh, today august 7 2012 we already know what the storm is capable of which looks like it's capable of dropping a ton of rain so we're going to watch uh, that very close over the next 48 hours and of course since this is a hurricane we need to be uh uh, alert. So again, MHTLRs.com is on condition red for landfall. And so taking a look at the latest update on the National Hurricane Center, we'll take a look at that. Actually, before I do that, I wanted to show you the spaghetti models, which we were looking at here. And as you see, most of the spaghetti models are showing direct path into Belize, and only a few models are showing it heading towards Texas and uh, the middle parts of Mexico. But this is showing a direct impact to southern Mexico down into Mexico City. So those folks in Mexico need to prepare for this storm over the next few days. And I'll continue to watch it for you. So again, condition red on MHGAlerts.com site, which will be updated shortly. And taking a look at the latest updated information from the National Hurricane Center. We'll go back to that. And I'll bring that up real quick. It says here as uh, 4 p.m. Central Daylight Time, Tuesday, August 7th. And this is advisory number 26 from the National Hurricane Center. Max winds are 70 knots or 80 miles per hour, which is a category one. Minimum central pressure is 983 millibars, located at 18.8 degrees north and 86.2 degrees west. Movement is west northwest at 13 knots or 15 miles per hour. And I'd like to go ahead and bring up the regional warnings, which we'll talk about that. The regional warnings indicate a hurricane warning is in force for Cozumel and from Truth Mall to Tulum and the north, or I'm sorry, on the east coast of the Yucatan Peninsula, as well as the entire coast of Belize. Uh, again, there are tropical storm warnings and watches, which you can take a look at yourself. The rainfall totals indicate here three to five inches locally, up to eight inches along the coast or north coast of Honduras and the east coast of Nicaragua and 4 to 8 inches locally up to 12 inches in southern parts of the Yucatan Peninsula including Belize. Very powerful storm with a lot of rain and thunderstorms. In fact, we'll look at the latest radar loop in just a moment. Uh, shows here the storm surge 2 to 4 feet above normal tidals, uh, tidal waves or tidal levels near and north of the point of landfall. Large dangerous waves will accompany the surge so stay clear and again this is the latest radar loop here which i'll bring up here for you and as you see this is a very strong storm packing a lot of rain as you see all this red in here that's uh definitely not a good sign you can tell that there's a lot of rain potential for flooding and dangerous uh possible dangerous landslides especially there in belize and those parts so continue to keep you posted on the latest updates which i will do in the next 24 to 48 hours on the storm system. So again, I want to thank everybody for watching and have a great day.